So what's up again, people? This is Robert Bassano. This Body of Lies, Part 2. So to continue on from that NASA document I showed you in Body of Lies, Part 1, your mind should be completely blown by now. You're probably going over that video every fucking inch of it, trying to get as much information you can and start doing your research, and that's fucking fantastic. Keep doing that shit. Because the next step is for you to start preparing to get yourself set up somewhere else, either north of the border or south of the border. Because you sure as hell ain't gonna go to fucking Europe. Half you motherfuckers can barely speak English. I know you don't speak Spanish or French or Italian or Portuguese or Russian or Mandarin or Tagalog or any other 200 African languages that exist on that damn continent. So... If you're open to learn another language, I think the safest place is going, to, safest place to go, and to look towards, is my neck of the woods. Because see, they don't play that shit down here. They don't give a fuck what's on the U.S. news. They don't give a fuck about any of y'all. To be honest with you, yeah, you got people want to go to that country to partake in the American dream, but after they do that, they send that fucking money right back down south, because they live better, cleaner. And they're not afraid to stand up against any government authority and throw their fucking ass in jail, just like they're getting ready to try to do to the Brazilian president, and they've done to, they're trying to do to the Colombian president, and they fucking put the former head of Colombian intelligence, she's, her ass is going on trial and in jail. Got her ass extradited. But, let's continue on and stay on target with this whole thing. I took that from a guy I watched his video, Allied Jump Commander. Gotta watch his videos too, man. He's cool people. He curses like a motherfucker too, but he don't give a fuck. Do six foot one, six foot two, probably two hundred some odd pounds. You ain't gonna fuck with him. I'm five foot ten, two fifteen. You don't wanna fuck with me either. So, but let's get uh, let's get on with this, and let me show you guys some interesting shit on how this is all set up and how it's organized. Cause these documents here, they definitely gonna blow your fucking mind when you see this for yourself. You guys know me. It's not what the, it's not what you know. It's what you can prove. And at this point, people in the United States, you motherfuckers ain't safe at all. You better fucking get going. You're doing this whole flat earth day shit, doing this little mixer with, you know, all this other kind of bullshit. I cancel that motherfucker. I would cancel that shit. Because all you guys are doing is creating a fucking photo op for the same organization that's trying to fucking neutralize you and silence you motherfuckers. That's what they're doing. Believe that shit. But watch this. So check this out. I wanted to show this to you guys because these are the articles of incorporation for a company you already know exists. And if you didn't know it exists, well, now you fucking do. Because it's the United States. Okay? The United States of America. The United States is a federal corporation. Okay? That code exists in federal law. You just got to look it up. The word United States is actually a fucking Delaware corporation. United States of America means that all of the states are under one corporate umbrella. And you could look at the states as sort of insularies and divisions and departments and organizations because they all have their own their different republics. But don't get your don't get fucking clouded with the whole idea of the republic because that's bullshit. All right? That's just meant to deceive you. All right? That's just meant to deceive you. But check out this document. It was filed July 15th, 1925. Seven pages long. So check this shit out. It says, Certificate of Incorporation of the United States Corporation Company. Okay? Secretary of State. Um, shit, the executive offices were 65 Cedar Street, New York City. This motherfucker still exists. It's still there, too, to this very fucking day. It's still there. Filed in the office of the Secretary of State of the State of Florida. Now, don't get yourself bogged down to where this shit was filed in, okay? Because I'm not going to get myself all distracted by why was it filed in Florida? Because it operates in New York. But we're going to get to that, all right? Because we're going to read this document together. So check this out. Let's look at this shit closely. Filed. 
State of Florida, July 1925. Certificate of Incorporation of the United States Corporation Company. Okay? Remember, the United States is a federal corporation. I don't know what the fuck federal means, but, you know, and I'm just saying that not to because I don't know for the fact that they just created that shit, but it just, it has no fucking value whatsoever because the Federation is really articles of incorporation and bylaws that are created for every, say, private citizen com company and corporation that's created when you designate who's in charge, what they're supposed to be doing, what your company's supposed to be doing, and all that kind of shit. So the president is really a chief executive officer of the corporation, all right? This motherfucker can be hired and fired just like fucking Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan, you know, the Google execs, Apple, all that kind of shit. But let's read this. The name of the corporation is, let's blow this shit up a little bit more for you people, okay? Let's blow it up. The name of the corporation is United States Corporation Company. The nature of the business, ah, uh, shit, hang on here for a second. Let's, let's, let's zoom out a little bit because I didn't do that good for you people. The nature of the business, of the objects, and the objects and purposes proposed to the transacted, promoted, or carried on by the corporation are as follows. To prepare a cause to be prepared and procure to be filed, recorded, registered, published, issued, or granted in accordance with the law, articles or certificates of incorporation, applications for letters, patents, charters, and other instruments related to the incorporation and organization of corporations and joint stock companies. To prepare or cause to be prepared and procure to be filed, recorded, registered, published, issued, or granted certificates, reports, statements, applications for licenses to do business or other instruments in relation to domestic and foreign corporations, companies, or associations. To provide and maintain domiciliary and other offices and facilities for corporations, companies, and associations, and to act as agent in charge thereof, and upon whom process against or official notice to such corporation, company, or association may be served or given and for other lawful purpose to act as the fiscal or transfer agent of or registrar of the stock or securities issued by any public or private corporation, any public or private corporation, and in such capacity to receive and disperse money to transfer, register, countersign, issue, and deliver certificates of stock, bonds, or other evidences of indebtedness and to act as agent of any corporation, foreign or domestic, for lawful purpose. To carry on the business of any appraisal and audit company and connection therewith to make examinations and appraisals of the business and property of corporations and individuals to examine, audit their books and accounts, and to make sure and to, to make reports and certificates in respect thereof. To publish and deal in books, periodicals, pamphlets, <laughs> To publish and deal in books, periodicals, pamphlets, legal forms, and blanks for all kinds. To acquire. So, where were we? So, to acquire by purchase of otherwise and to hold for investment of otherwise, to use, sell, lease, or dispose of real estate and real property and any interest, estate, or rights therein. To acquire by purchase, subscription, or otherwise, and to hold for investment or otherwise, to use, sell, or dispose of shares of stock, bonds, or any other obligations, or securities of any corporation, or securities of any corporation. What the fuck? So you're trying to tell me that if I, you got private and public traded companies out there issuing securities and shit. And they're saying the United States can sell any of that shit if they want to. I mean, how the fuck was this authority created, man? That's some crazy shit. To any other obligations or securities of any corporation, domestic or foreign, to aid in any manner any corporation whose shares or stocks, bonds, or other obligations are held or in any manner guaranteed by the company in which the company is in any way interested 
and to do any other acts or things for the preservation, protection, improvement, or enhancement of the value of any such shares of stock, bonds, or other obligations, or to do any acts or things designed for any such purpose while and while owner of any such share of stock, bonds, or other obligations, to exercise all the rights, powers, and privileges of ownership thereof, and to exercise any and all voting powers thereon, to acquire by purchase or otherwise, and to hold, own, use, grant, licenses, and respect to, or otherwise, turn to account or dispose of any copyrights, trademarks, inventions, patent rights, and letters, patent of the United States or of any other country. Fuck. Any cop if you think you own a copyright, if you think you own a trademark, if you think you own a patent, <clears throat> you are fucking mistaken. I just followed Alice down into the deeper into the fucking rabbit hole, and she turned around and says, Shh, shh I got something to tell you. All that shit you filing, you think that's your envision? That's your invention, your creation, your copyrighted material. People who say, oh, you can't use my information on YouTube. You get a copyright strike. Fuck that bullshit. That shit don't belong to YouTube. That shit don't belong to the people who fucking put it out. That shit belongs to the United States government. That shit belongs to the United States Corporation Company. They own that shit. Everything you file that you got to pay for. You're flipping the fucking bill. They're using your motherfucking money from your work and telling you, if this is what you want to do, you pay for the shit, but we own it. We got a stake in this shit. We got a stake in it. You don't own nothing. You don't own your fucking house free and clear. I don't give a fuck if you think you paid for it. You don't own your business. You don't own anything. You are fucking property. Just like them damn black slaves. You filed anything in the United States, you live in the United States, they own your ass. The taxes you paying, you're paying the taxes on behalf of the United States Corporation Company to some other fucking country. The business of the corporation is from time to time to do any one or more of the acts and things herein set forth. And it may conduct business in the state of Florida, other states, the District of Columbia, the territories, and colonies of the United States, and in foreign countries, have one or more offices out of the state of Florida and hold, purchase, mortgage, and convey real and personal property within or without or without of the state of Florida. The maximum number of shares which this corporation is authorized to have outstanding at any time is 100 shares, each of which shares shall have a par value of $100. Man, the United States Corp Corporation Company is only worth motherfucking $100. A hundred fucking dollars, man. A hundred dollars. Let's go to number four. The, the amount of capital with which the corporation will begin business is $500. They started this motherfucker with 500 bucks, man. The corporation is to have perpetual existence, meaning forever. Fucking forever. They can't be dissolved. They can't be motherfucking bought. Everything you buy, everything you patent, everything you copyright, everything you trademark, everything you pray for. They got to lean on that shit. They fucking own it. They take their fucking stakeholder share and they put that shit on the fucking global fucking worldwide fucking financial market. Pledge it and get fucking loans and credit against it. And you ain't getting shit. You pay the taxes on the shit they buy. All these wars, you pay for that shit. All this debt, all those salaries, you pay those salaries. And when you vote. When you vote for one of these motherfuckers to get into office, whether it be a senator, or a congressman, a fucking statesman, a district attorney, a judge, a fucking, you know, uh, uh, whoever. If you don't agree that this motherfucker should be in office or this bitch should be sitting in office spending your motherfucking money too fucking bad.
Because they created a fucking rule where you got to keep paying regardless if you don't like the motherfucker. You need the majority vote to override everybody else. Shit. That's democracy for your ass. The principal office of the corporation shall be located in the Centennial Building, Tallahassee, Leo County. That's the principal office. That's where fucking the office of the United States Corporation Company is. The Centennial Building. They probably own that motherfucker too. And you paid for it. The number of directors shall be three. Three directors. Who the fuck could that be? Who knows? The name of the director shall hold office for the first year of the corporation's existence or until the successors are elected and have qualified and their post office addresses are as follows. Now, that doesn't mean that the president becomes a motherfucking successor. That just means that there's somebody else in front of those motherfuckers saying, hey, we're going to manage this company for you. You motherfuckers are just, you know, you do your thing. You think that Jamie Dimon or the CEO of, of fucking these major public companies, they're the guys? Who are in charge? They're not. And neither are the motherfucking chairman of the boards either. There's an owner of this motherfucking company. And it ain't the people you think it is. He goes to first people in 1925. Harry Conlon. Samuel Howard. Arthur Britton. All these motherfuckers were at the same address. 150 Broad Street. Broadway. The name and post office address of this subscribers of this certificate and a number of shares of stock which each agrees to take are as follows. These motherfuckers, Lewis Gunter took two shares, Samuel Howard took two shares, Arthur Britton took one share. One fucking share. The directors and stockholders shall have power to hold their meetings and to have one or more offices and to keep the books of the corporation except the original or duplicate stock ledger outside of the state of Florida. At such place or places as from the time to time may be designated by the bylaws of the resolution of the board. The director shall also have power without the assent or vote of the stockholders to make or alter bylaws of the corporation to fix the times for the declaration and payment of dividends and to fix and vary the amount to be reserved as working capital to determine the use and disposition of any surplus or net profits over and above the capital stock paid in. Man, all the fucking taxes coming in, coming into the United States. These motherfuckers get paid. They can't fucking have more than $100 in fucking stock outstanding. So what do you think? Where the fuck do you think the other trillions of fucking dollars go? That shit gets dispersed. People get paid off. It ain't you. It fucking sure as hell ain't you. Unbelievable people. And in their discretion, the directors may use and apply any such surplus or accumulated profits in purchasing or acquiring the bonds or other obligations or shares of the capital stock of the corporation to such extent and in such manner and upon such terms as the directors shall deem expedient. Meaning shit. You got all this money? Get this shit spent. Get it fucking dispersed. I don't give a fuck where you got to set up accounts. Just get this shit out of here now so that we don't have to show our books. But shares of such capital stock so purchased or acquired may be resold unless such shares shall have been retired for the purpose of decreasing the corporation's capital stock as provided by law. Fucking scandalous, money laundering, thieving motherfuckers, man. This is your United States of America. USA, USA, fuck you. Yeah, we the undersigned being of each of the original subscribers to Capital Stock here and be, before name do hereby associate for the purpose of establishing a corporation pursuant to the corporation law state of Florida 1925. And they all signed this motherfucker. So let me shock you some more. Let me shock you some more. Okay? There goes another document showing the certificate of incorporation for the Corporation Trust of America. Okay? That's the original document. Right there. It doesn't look too good, but don't worry. I got this document. I'm going to have it in uh, box.com. So if you if you subscribe to me on box.com, secure encrypted fucking cloud service, hey, you're going to have access to it. But I want to shock you with some other shit, though, because here goes the fucking IRS, baby. I-R fucking S. The IRS was started with fucking 20 grand, 20 fucking thousand dollars, 200 shares, $100 per share. Isn't that fucking convenient? So that first document you saw 
where they said that they have they 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 were developed for the purposes of collecting money and corporations and certificates and issuing licenses. They here goes their motherfucking accounting office. This corporation has an accounting department called the Internal Revenue Tax and Audit Fucking Service. So here we go. Certificate of Incorporation. The Internal Revenue Service. For anybody saying, I created this shit, go fuck yourself. Because I fucking didn't. Alice took me down the rabbit hole even motherfucking deeper. Found a motherfucking IRS. Which is a department. A subsidiary of the United States Corporation Company. Internal Revenue Service. Internal Revenue Tax and Audit Service Incorporated. Its principal office or place of business in the state of Delaware shall be located at 1517, what's that, uh, Dover Green in the city of Dover County of Kent. Its resident agent shall be the Capital Trust Company of Delaware. The nature of the business and the objects and purpose proposed to the transaction promoted and carry on are to do any of the following all of the things herein set forth as fully and to the same extent as natural persons might or could do in any part of the world. To own, hold, sell, and dispose of the right to the use and in the sale of a copyright book printed therein. New and improved forms for the use of business professional men and for the purpose of compiling accounting records and figures and other purposes from the which income tax returns of any manner kind uh, I can't read what that is. Claims and descriptions may be prepared in conformity with the internal revenue laws of the United States. Back to the corporation people. And in the conformity with any and all taxing laws enacted by any of the states, counties, municipalities, cities, towns, and other taxing divisions of, or subdivisions. Generally to conduct an income, income tax accounting and auditing business and to act as income tax accountants and auditors for the for persons, firms, corporations, syndicates, and others, and to make charges for the sale of said income tax accounting book of forms and for such other services that may be rendered. To examine, audit, and certify to the correctness of corporation reports for the United States Corporation Company, corporation books and accounts of persons, firms, partnerships, associations, public, quasi-public, private corporations, including any state or government, estate and public and private institutions of all kinds, to install and maintain systems of corporations analysis and for the other purposes and for the for the keeping of records and accountants, accounts of all kinds and to install and operate cost systems and to make investigations as to the business affairs and property of any of the foregoing to render reports in connection therewith and to make corporation analysis appraisals and valuations of all kinds and to maintain, prepare, and certify to the correctness of reports, balance sheets, and statements, including tax reports, tax returns, for any and all purposes, state, government, or otherwise. Meaning that all the states got to pay fucking taxes to the United States Corporation Company. This is their fucking accounting firm, man. The I-fucking-R-S. The IRS. I'm not going to read all this shit. I got the document. This is their fucking bylaws. This is how the IRS operates. This shit was signed July 11th, 1933. That's when the IRS was motherfucking created. July 11th, 1933. And it looks like there was Clifton Barton, another Adele Martin Barton, and Lawrence, I don't even know what the hell his name is. Look at this shit. Can you fucking believe this? Because I can't. I mean, I know this shit existed. But to actually find a fucking document? To actually have the document? There you go. Clifton Barton, Helen Adele Barton, and Lawrence uh, Echevar, Echevarria, New York. All New York. Man, I'm going to do some fucking research to find out who the fuck these people are. So, here's the thing. A lot of this shit was fucking blacked out. It's probably non-applicable, but I'm going to try to figure out what this shit is. I'm seeing this shit for the first time just like you guys. 
This corporation commits business with a capital of at least one thousand dollars. Thousand dollars, people. A thousand dollars, man. Two hundred fucking shares. This is incredible, man. Incredible, people. I, 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 I'm, I'm, oh man. It gets better though. It gets better. It gets fuck. It gets better, people. Cause watch this shit. If you've ever gone to court, rather it be family court, divorce court, criminal court, civil court. If you've ever filed a complaint in any fucking court in any fucking jurisdiction in the United States at all. I don't give a shit if it's local court, state court, or federal court. You ain't gonna believe this shit. Some of you might believe it. You might already know this. I already knew this shit. But check this shit out. Booyah. Look at fucking this. The Court Registry Investment System. The C the CRIS. C R I S. Accountability transfer funds from court unit treasury symbol to CRIS forward slash TS dash S treasury symbol. No checks exchanged. Funds always controlled by either Treasury or the Federal Reserve Bank. There goes the fucking ticker symbol, people. If you've gone to court, they owe you motherfucking money. Because you didn't sign up for this shit. You didn't agree to this shit. And if you did agree to it, then you fucking get it. You find yourself a fucking lawyer who's ready to work fucking pro bono. And you get him to file a motherfucking order or a motion compelling the motherfucking court system, the U.S. Treasury, and the banks to answer for this shit. Because they owe you motherfucking money. They made money off of your fucking case. And here goes the fucking proof. The court registry investment system. Look at the fucking cash in. Tender to the court. Receipt. Deposit in treasury. Buy, sell. Treasury securities. Accountability. J.P. Morgan. Man, they list fucking J.P. J.P. Morgan got their hands in fucking everything. That motherfucker had his hand in every fucking thing, man. Non-standard withdrawals. Wire transfers. Transfer securities. Controlled disbursements. The money goes from the bank back to the court. Disperse. Pay the, pay the money. Who the fuck is the money being paid to? Let's look at the control points. 50 million notification. 50 million dollars. Court internal controls. Versus payment, FRB, FRB, Federal Reserve Bank, selling securities, transfer accountability, bankruptcy. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, people. If you had a court case, they don't even list the motherfucking... Here's the thing. Look at these motherfucking... Weekly operating... Look at this shit. It says it, plain as day. Weekly operating statistics liquidity fund cash deposits amount So if somebody had to pay bail you had to pay a court fee for something to file something look at this shit, man That's eight billion fucking dollars. That's four billion dollars This is a hundred and sixteen a of amount available for investment a hundred and sixteen billion motherfucking dollars in one what's this from from October second to two two thousand three to October eighth, they had a they made a hundred and sixteen fucking billion dollars to invest from court cases around the fucking country. There was seven hundred and twenty one billion dollars went into the system after they paid. After they made eight billion in withdrawals, which probably went to judges and prosecutors and shit, and maybe your 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 shyster ass motherfucking lawyer who you thought was sticking up for your ass, the balance turned out to be seven hundred and seventeen billion, but there was a hundred and sixteen billion available. So you know they got to keep cash on the motherfucking account. The United States is making money off of fucking the goddamn fucking legal system, man. Off of your ass. Off of your dumb fucking ass. This is why they don't fucking want you representing yourself in a court of law. Because they don't want you having some of this motherfucking 8 billion motherfucking dollars. 
This is why you got to be a licensed attorney and take a Hippocratical oath. Because these niggas are getting motherfucking paid. They all getting paid. You're the only one who has to pay them. You have to pay your lawyer 100 200 300 400 500 dollars a fucking hour to do what? To not guarantee you a fucking victory in a court of law over a fucking lawsuit for 100 million? Or over a criminal fucking conviction that you don't want to fucking have it happen to you because you might lose your fucking job? Are you fucking kidding me? This is why they don't want you fucking representing yourself in a court of law. Not because you don't know the law. Not because he who represents himself is a fool. That's a fucking myth. That's propaganda. They don't want you representing yourself because if you just happen to know what the fuck is going on, which you know right fucking now, you're going to fucking rip this system to pieces. So now you got the information. Remember where the fuck you got it. Look at this shit. Six fucking days, 114 fucking billion dollars to invest. Actually, that's 114 million. I'm sorry. Forgive me, people. 116 million to invest. 717 million. It's nearly a fucking billion dollars, people. Do you fucking see this shit? They, they, look at this. The ending balance was a billion fucking dollars in six fucking days. Every six days, man. That's a calendar week. Every week. This is how much money they're making every fucking week, people. This was from, this is, this is March 24th of 2006. Court Registry Investment System. Asset Report. I can't believe this shit is out there. Total penalty. 135 million. 135 fucking million dollars. From July 27th to July 31st. Look at the QCIP block. These are fucking case numbers. These are the fucking bonds issued. Based on the collection of cases that took place that fucking week. That's what this is. You can go on fucking fidelityfucking.com and look up the QCIP numbers and the bonds. These are fucking treasury bills. The treasury bills are your cases. The treasury bills are your cases, man. If you had a case in the court, your shit is hidden inside this. And this is how much fucking money they made off your dumb ass. You ain't getting any of this. You don't even know this exists. And if you find out it exists, they might kill your ass. Or throw your ass in jail. Or deny it even exists and, and force you to try to prove it. And good luck trying to find an attorney to fucking issue a fucking subpoena to produce these documents. I know where to get these motherfuckers. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh my fucking God. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Look at this shit. Minors cases information. Minors. This was fucking family court. Or juvenile court or some shit. Minors. Look at this shit. Look at the case numbers, people. Look at the fucking case numbers. Holy shit. Look at the fucking case numbers. There you go. There it is right there. I can't believe this shit. Look at the case numbers for minors. Look how much money is made. $262,000. Just on one fucking kid, man. The principal was 262. They made 400 fucking thousand. The interest was 138,000 on one fucking case. On one case. All you got to do is find out where this... You can go on to fucking pacercourts.gov. Register an account. Type up this case. You'll find out who the fuck this case belonged to. Whoever the fuck this was, they had this motherfucker in the system for a long fucking time. They made a shitload of money off of this motherfucker. Look at this case. CV1554. This motherfucker just kept coming back and back and back. They just 
This this probably the amount of charges that were brought up. Same case. Look at all the money. People, these are minors. They're making money off your fucking kids, man. Your kids. You ain't getting any of this. You don't have no fucking idea. You walking around with motherfucking Brillo pads over your motherfucking eyes and blinded to fucking reality. You want to know what the flat earth is about? It's about this shit. Because the flat earth leads you to this type of shit right here. The truth is so fucking precious, she must be attended by a bodyguard of fucking lies. Here it is. You just pierced the fucking security veil. Look at this shit. I don't even have the time. I got a Pacer Courts account. I can go in and start finding out who the shit this, this shit belongs to. I've been to court one time for a civil matter. But once. I know I got friends and, and, and family and people who fucking been in and out of fucking court. Nobody's angels. If you've been in court for a traffic ticket or some shit, that shit is probably in here. They making money off that traffic ticket that you had to pay for. And once the case is closed, boom, that's it. It don't make no more money. End of story. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna, you, you should be using this information to get the fucking trouble to make money off this shit. But damn, there's the fucking case numbers. We still on minors, people. We still on minors. Minors. People under 18 fucking years old, man. In the entire fucking United States. Look at this shit. Just look at it. I got this shit in my box files, man. That's where it's going to be. That's where it's going to stay. Because unless you're going to be pausing this motherfucker all the time to look at this information, this is how you're going to see it. This is how you're going to see it. Data instructions preparing mock financial reports. Liquidity fund. It goes to QCIP numbers. You can look this shit up on QCIP.com uh, uh, or QCIP.org or shit. Just look up QCIP Global. Punch in this information. It tells you what everything is behind it. 122 fucking million dollars. That's the fun asset. Man, this shit made me want to be a lawyer now. Because I might want to go after this shit. Start helping people out. Making some fucking money. All this money's out there? This is how the system is working. This is the system. Court X. Court Y. This is just a preparing a mock financial reports. Let's see what else they got here. Alternative fund. Holy shit. Look at this shit, man. Question for offers. Offerers are required to complete and attach this questionnaire as a cover page to their proposals. Proposals will be accepted from offers who are designated depositaries under the requirements set forth in uh, Code of Federal Regulations 31 Part 202 or are brokers, dealers registered with the Securities Exchange Commission and subject to the supervision and regulation of the N NAS NSAD and Securities Exchange Commission that have effective management programs designed to monitor compliance with all standards and guidelines set forth by applicable supervisor or regulatory body that meet the capital re standard requirement by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York for accepting new primary dealers as set forth in January 22, 1992, with an average weekly volume of U.S. government securities transactions of at least $50 million. Shit, you, all you just need to do is register and uh, fill this shit out. You make money off motherfuckers that are going, going to jail, going to court. Your neighbor won't even fucking know. They got all kinds of fucking legal problems. You're just looking at them thinking, yeah, you go ahead. You need me to drive you to court? I'll drive you there. I'm making money. I'm going to make my money back off of your ass. Look at this shit. There's a form to fill out. Glossary of terms. CIRS. Allocation report. CIRS eligibility. The contractor must annually prepare a list of investments that are eligible for inclusion in the CIRS portfolio. Investment strategy. Contractor. Registry funds. Glossary of terms, fund managers, transaction date, settlement date. Oh my God. Process map legend. Task, another full, fully defined process, decision, online display, event, 
hard copy email, verbal information, database, and the process. This is crazy, people. The court registry investment system. Somebody leaked this fucking thing. This ain't supposed to be out. I don't give a fuck. It's, it was in open fucking source. I got it now. I don't give a fuck. Deposit in CRS, CRS administrate. Look at this shit, man. A fucking hierarchy chart on how all this shit works. A fucking hierarchy chart. The Federal Reserve Bank is making fucking money off of crime, man. And civil cases. And people's fucking despair and problems and difficulties with fucking trying to live and feed their fucking families. You gotta go to court for some shit. They making money. They want you to go to court. Look at this shit. Transfers into CRS. Court Registry Investment System. Court order. Right? Notice of deposit. Receipt. So if you gotta pay some, you got a court order. The court issues an order. You go to court. You get a cash receipts journal. Case information. You get all information on the case. Determine if eligible to transfer. Right? Eligible to transfer. If no, in the process. If your case is something that's of value, they transfer it. Single deposit equals 50 million. 50 fucking million. So if your, your case is worth 50 fucking million dollars. Your case is worth 50 million. If you, your case was eligible, that month, all you got to do is go into the system to look up your case number. And if your case number is in the system, that motherfucker is worth at least 50 million or more. Yes, notify CRS administrator of 50 million or more deposit. So somebody made a deposit on your case. If no, they go to AO290 element or worksheet to try to make that motherfucker eligible. Prepare AO283, prepare fax cover sheet. Is approval required? Yes, forward for approval. Court control point approved. Resolve problem. If you didn't resolve, if it's approved, you go, no, resolve problem. All right? Which means you settle the case out. That's what the shit means. If you resolve the problem, that means that you took a plea bargain and you settled the case. If you didn't resolve and you go forward, you got to sign that, yeah, you want to go forward with your case, you know, because you want to litigate the shit. You go fax and mail. They, they mail all the financial forms, update the accounting system, reflect transfer of accountability for court, CRS, accountability funds transferred to CRS. File copies. They get copies of your fuck. You remember how the lawyers got to make copies of every fucking legal pleading they file? Now you know why do you got to make several copies. It's not because one needs to go to the judge, one needs to go to the clerk, one needs to go to the prosecutor, the fucking defense. It's because those four, five, six copies need to be motherfucking filed with the Federal Reserve Bank and the motherfucking securities and brokerage houses. Prepare monthly AO274 two, reflect transfers, AO24 and the month. Submit AO 274 AO in the process. These motherfuckers get paid. How about that shit? Administration. This is fucking crazy, people. Look at this shit. Breaking it down. Breaking this shit down. God damn. You know what I mean? JP Morgan. JP Morgan is managing this shit with the Fed. That's why JP Morgan is too fucking big to fail. That's why fucking Jamie Dimon hasn't been motherfucking prosecuted or fired. That's why no banker will ever go to jail. Because all these motherfuckers will blow the whistle and say, fuck, you not going to fire my ass. You're going to give me a severance motherfucking check. If you want me to go, you're going to pay me my motherfucking severance. And then I'll sign a fucking non disclosure to keep my fucking mouth shut. But Jamie Dimon ain't going no fucking way. This motherfucker manipulated the whole fucking financial system. He ain't going no fucking where. J.P. Morgan Chase fucking bank is controlling all this shit with the Fed. And the United States Corporation Company. People are purchasing this shit, man. You actually buying the fucking freedom and fucking jail time of fucking your own friends and family and co-workers, man. They know all the bank listed in this shit. JP is probably selling this shit to Bank of America, Citibank, and all these other banks. But they motherfucking head motherfucking of the snake. J.P. Morgan purchased securities. J.P. Morgan calculates number of securities to purchase and interest needed to meet estimated liquidity requirements. They decide what the shit is invested in. Shit, I need to have a fucking bank account with J.P. Morgan, man. God damn. Holy shit. 
This ain't no fucking joke, people. CIA transfers accountability of funds back to the courts. So the money that's left over, they send the shit back to the court so the judges can get their motherfucking checks. This is shit is all done in secret, man. Behind fucking closed doors. That's why if you ever try to get a subpoena to find out if a judge is being paid by somebody for some shit, they will hold your ass in contempt. That's why they don't want you fucking representing yourself. Because if you uncover this shit, the judges, them motherfuckers get kicked the fuck off the bench and they get, they not only get disbarred, they can go to fucking jail for this shit. But who's to say that the fucking FBI ain't going ain't gonna to just look the other way and say, you know what, fuck it, you know, we'll let you go, we'll, we'll erase your record, no, don't worry, there's not going to be any legal thing on you, I, you know the system, but you need to sign this to keep your fucking mind, we'll give you some money, shut the fuck up. This is crazy, people. This is fucking crazy. Standard withdrawals from the CIA, C Chris, courts, records, transfer, accountability of funds from the Chris. Look at this shit. All the charts and everything, they break this shit down, people. Breaking it, like they say, breaking it down. Man, Alice. Allison took me fucking way deep into the rabbit hole. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice. Texans, Texas Southern disperses for bankruptcy courts. Holy shit. If you live in Texas, look at this shit. If you had to file bankruptcy, oh, hell yeah. Stamp copy of voucher paid. Disperse. Somebody paid all your shit off. And think about this. If you file for bankruptcy and they're putting you on some sort of federal payment plan and you got to pay this shit back because you, you don't have the money to pay it back, but they deciding that whatever money you make, they take some of that money, right, to make it look like you still owe, but somebody already wrote a check for that, that shit. Somebody already paid the debt off for you, but your credit report still looks fucked up than a motherfucker because you had to... You got a bankruptcy on your shit for seven fucking years. So for that seven years, they making fucking tens of hundreds of millions of dollars off your fucking dumb ass. You fucking slave. Control disbursements. Wire faxes to the bank to cover amount dispersed. Wire faxes to the bank to cover amounts dispersed. Are there sufficient funds? Check control disbursement account for unclaimed funds. Court order to close account. Unclaimed funds. God damn, man. CRS Weekly Re Reconciliation. J.P. Morgan Report listed as CRS Securities. Holy shit. Man. If this ain't some flatter of truth, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. I don't give a fuck how many people see this. The people who are going to see it, they're going to spread the word. Description of other processes and alternative fund processes. 1099 shit. They ain't paying no taxes on this shit. They 1099 in this shit. Paying no taxes. Motherfucker. Look at these other cases. Small case balance report. Damn, they listed by name. E. Mullinger Wilson versus Quiznos Franchise. Newbie versus City of Borg. Star Solar versus Solar Vision and Montgomery. Christina L. Pye. Mullen, God, USA versus zero point and, and 33 acres. 33rd acre. 36.51 acres of land. How the fuck do you file a fucking case against somebody, a company by the name of 36.51 acres of land? How the hell do you do that? Stigley and Ballas versus Clinton. Oh, I'm going to look up that fucking case. Oh, hell yeah. I need to know if that's against the fucking Clintons. Because if it is, they making, they made fucking money off this shit. According to this, it was only $64.54. But guess what? There was 50 fucking million dollars put up for this shit to defend it. Man, man, man. Notices. Administrative Office of the United States Courts. Administrative Office of the United States Courts. Got... Damn. Registry funds fee schedule. I gotta start looking this shit up. I gotta get more. Court registry investment system pool summary allocation report. U.S. District Court bankruptcy courts. 116 fucking million. Two billion dollars. Two billion. Two point three billion goddamn dollars. Man, man, man. 
number of cases, 951 just in the southern, for the bankruptcy shit, the liquidity pool, there were 951 cases from fucking July 27th to August 2nd. 951 cases, the motherfuckers ended up making. They only paid, they only got $41,610 in court registry fees. The end and balance ended up being 409 500 fucking million dollars just round it off transferred in 75,000 transferred out nothing the beginning balance was almost 470 million fucking dollars they took in 951 cases those cases were worth nearly 500 million there this is all they this is what they had to pay to administer the fucking business of the court that's it they earned twenty nine million. Man, man, man. I don't know what to tell y'all anymore. But check this shit out though. So you guys can see for yourselves. This is the state of Delaware's Secretary of State's website. You wanna see how many fucking companies the United States has? Check this shit out. Let's do this together. So you can see it for yourself. United States. Bam. Let's check it out. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy, people. Crazy. This didn't drove me crazy. I can't contain myself. I thought I was going to be civil with this shit. And not use profane language, man, because kids might be watching. But fuck the kids, man. They need to see this shit. You can't let your kids growing up fucking learning that fucking lie that you teaching them. That lie that you letting them fucking believe. Look at this shit. The United States and China Foundation, United States Airport Trade Organization. That's, that's that's supposed to be the FAA, by the way. Look at this shit. United States Basketball League, the NBA, owned by the United States. Cause remember, you got you got the president of the NBA, right? Just like the fucking president of the United States. That motherfucker works for the president of the United States. Look at this shit. United States Coin Company. That's that's the United States Mint right there. This is the United States Mint. This is the U.S. Marshals Service. United States Fugitive Service Incorporated. Motherfucker skip bail. Somebody paid that $50 million for a court case. They need to go find that motherfucker. Because that's an asset gone rogue. You done lost your asset. You need to go find that motherfucker. And hopefully it don't cost $50 million to find that motherfucker. But there's fifty million dollars out there loose. They don't know where that bond is. It's lost. They're gonna need to go find that motherfucker. What else? Insurance companies, all fucking United. They got one trust one, trust two. United States of America Mexican Corporation. Mexico. Do are they could they fucking possibly be the property of the United States? Is that possible? Could it be? Could it be fucking possible? Because remember, California, Nevada, and Arizona were fucking Mexican territory before the fucking Spanish-American War. Mexico sold California to the United States for fucking $15 million. Five million of it was in gold. That's how much they sold that shit for. Now, you're looking at the incorporation date and formation date. Don't be fooled by that shit. Because remember... The United States Corporation Company is perpetual. When you see these incorporated, this is shit that they go in the system to renew. They own this fucking system. They own Delaware, man. Look at this shit. The Company Corporation. I'm going to tell you here right now. That is the United States Company Corporation. Don't be fooled by that shit. They all have the same fucking address, man. Now, I know you have these registered agents that are all the same. You know, because they file thousands of corporations... You know, for companies all over the fucking country, all over the world. But, again, Alice is taking us a little bit deeper into the rabbit hole. Just look at this shit. United States Aerospace Incorporated. NASA. Look at this shit, man. United States Argentina Council. Look at this shit. 
United States Bank Note Corporation, United States Bank Note Company, United States Bank Card Association of Georgia. You know the, the uh, what is it, the Discover Card? And that's that company out of Georgia? There you go, Discover Card. That's a fucking U.S. company. United States Beverage, United States Blood Bank, United States Bond Group, United States Bond and Guarantee Corporation. The buses, business communications, business corporations, business machines, United States Capital Corporation, United States Cellular Operating Company. This is probably every fucking U.S. cellular operation company in the damn country. United States Check Corporation. They own the fucking cigarette companies. Look at this shit. Coal and Coke Corporation. Coal and Coke. Not cocaine. Like Coca fucking Cola. Commerce Department. United States Commerce Corporation. I guarantee you can find every goddamn government agency on this motherfucking list. They just under a fucking different corporate name. I guarantee fucking to you. And it costs $20 to get all these reports. I ain't paying for all this shit right now. I'm going to do some research. But I ain't paying for all this shit. I'm going to pick a few companies that I want to find out the truth on. Look at this. United States Corporation Company. United States Corporation Agency. United States Corp. Credit Agencies. United States Cyber Warfare Research Institute. United States Debt Recovery. They own all the debt collection motherfuckers too. This is crazy. You see all this shit. I'm showing it to you. There you go. State of Delaware. That's where they file everything. They file shit in Florida. I'd be looking in Florida too. I guarantee you every fucking big goddamn company you know of has got motherfucking incorporation in Florida, Delaware, and look at this. United States Gang Intelligence Agency. Gang Intelligence. Who the fuck would name their company United States? They know this ain't no private company. This ain't no private company. Okay? This is not no fucking private company. We're going to prove it. I mean, that means I could create a fucking company. United States, you know, I don't know what. United States Flat Earth Agency. You think they let me file that shit? <laughs> you think we could all do that? File the United States Flat Earth Agency to have fucking President Obama go ape shit to see that fucking filing in the state of Delaware? Look at this shit. United States Gold Corporation of Delaware. United States Gold Corporation. United States Gold Exploration Corporation. United States Internet Service Provider Association. United States International Company. This is crazy. United States of All Americas Incorporated. Let's take a look at that shit. But for a second, let's look at the United States Gang Intelligence. Let's see if that's a real fucking company. United States Gang Intelligence LLC. Let's see what they say. That shit, I bet you it's associated with the fucking FBI. I guarantee fucking it. It's probably associated with the fucking FBI. Let's go through this shit real quick. Hold on. United States Gang Intelligence, 3509 Connecticut Avenue, Northwest 10003, Washington, D.C. Who the fuck are these guys? Website. Domestic motherfucking terrorism. They're their own fucking company. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Let's visit the website. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see if it takes us to a .gov fucking website address. Let's see if it takes us there. I'm fucking curious now. Now you really got me fucking curious. USGIA. United States Gang Intelligence Agency. Holy shit. Let's see who the fuck this really is, man. We need to see who this is. It's a, it's a fucking company. It's called the United U.S. Gang Intelligence, OPCOM. It's a fucking government agency. OPCOM is a fucking government agency, man. 
USGS Operations Command, USGIA. Let's go to about. Let's go to about. Gang intelligence. Ain't this some shit, man? 